Welcome to the part of this multi-part project where we tackle lighting our scene. We're going to create not a three-point lighting setup, but one that suits the purposes of this particular project. We're going to have our key light, our fill, rim, a kicker light that's going to be behind our object to help push it out more from the background, another light on the left, and even a physical sky. Now, the combination of all these different lights and the way we're going to set them up is going to be by literally starting with nothing on, as I just showed you. And we're going to start with one light, get that just right, turn the other light on so that we can balance those two together, and then one by one, turn on and tweak the values of each light. Then when that's all done, we're going to add a physical sky and we're going to customize the settings so we have a very nice cold feeling in our scene. I'll go ahead and do a render for you. And by the time it's all done, we're going to have something that's going to be really nice. It's going to have nice shadows. It's going to really focus on the box. The light is going to lead us into what we're looking at and the mountains will push off and once again, push our eyes in this direction. So what we're going to do is literally frame the light setup so that everything points back to this big rectangle, which will be where we're going to texture later on in addition to the mountains and everything else. So we're going to really take our time and tell a story by using certain colors, for example, the nice blue hue, the values of the light to help pop things. And by the time we're done, we're going to have a nice light setup that's going to really help to emphasize the star of the show, which will be the box of gum. So let's go ahead and get started and start illuminating our scene. 